Hello everybody, how is it going? Are you guys having a good holiday weekend? Well, if you're in Big Bear, I'm sure you are, because there's 80 fucking thousand people out there running around doing all sorts of shit. And I have to be nice and let them have fun. They're probably having the time of their life. Okay. So, um, but it's been, um, it's been kind of noisy out here. And when you go from living with nobody around to living with tons of people around, <clears throat> um, it is a, a thing. So, um, this weekend... I was hoping to get a lot of reading done. Um, I'm actually... <clears throat> um, I'm almost done with uh, Shark Hunt. It's kind of a tough read um, going through all of these uh, articles. Um, I'm not going to lie. I like his writing. I like his voice. Um... But a lot of the stuff in the middle was very repetitive, all the different articles, and um, because they were all about the same thing. Um, but kind of where I'm at now, it's like earlier in his career, it seems like to just kind of pad the book out a little bit, which that brick does not need padding. So um, it's... It's very frustrating because I was going to go from that to um, Generation of Swine, which somebody let me know in the comments from the last video that um, there's like four volumes of the Gonzo Papers or whatever, and Generation of Swine is the, um, the 80s, and that's volume two. And um, I was going to go right into that, but like... I'm, I don't know, I'm probably like 100 pages from finishing this, and like, I feel like I need a break, so, um, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see, what else was I reading? Oh, um, I was reading, can I reach it? I'm still reading this, um, Loving and Hating Charles Bukowski, um, and I'm halfway through it. This book is hysterical because she's just nuts, dude. Um, they got into some big fight. She said that he French kissed some teenage boy at a party. And um, they got into a big fight. And then a ghost came. And then he was holding her, and then her body started shaking, and she knew she was going to leave her body again. Like, he downplayed her so much. But it's funny, because she is, as nuts as she comes off in this, there is a charm. There's a charm about her that um, is just crazy. The other thing in here that is weird is that there's a lot of poems he wrote to her that she published in here, and a lot of poems she wrote to him that she's published in here. There's also, like a majority of this book is letters back and forth between the two of them, which is weird because um, a couple chapters before where I'm at now, she's talking about how he threw all her letters away. Um, so I don't know how she has copies of her letters unless she kept carbons of her letters, which is weird because then that would also mean that she typed all of her letters to him. I don't know. So there's like weird little things like that that make me like just go, hmm, I wonder how... Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Um, there's that, but I would have finished it already, 
but there's so much noise. Like, the other morning I was woken up by some jagweed on a motorcycle at like 8 o'clock in the morning with the loudest pipes you've ever heard hauling ass up and down the street and all the car alarms were going off. And, um, there's, like, bad music being played loudly, children with Nerf guns shooting each other, um, kids falling off of bikes in the road, um, and you go down into town and it is just, like, every family on the planet is riding bikes together, which is very cute, but they're not cars, and they're riding their bikes in the street, like on the actual highway, and like turning left and getting in the left hand. They're they're bikes. They're not cars. They go quite slow. Like that's what bike lanes and crosswalks are for. Get out of the fucking road. It's just like. And then I tried to take some shortcut to get through, and there was some fucking softball tournament down at this park, and the traffic there was worse than the traffic on the highway. So anyway, what I'm trying to get at is, is I can't concentrate on anything. So, and the formatting of this book is so awful that like, it's just, it's too much. So I was reading, um, a lot of poetry. Like I read some T.S. Eliot, um, and I think it's just the mood I'm in because like I've read The Wasteland before and I've liked it. And then I read it yesterday and I was like angry the whole time. And I'm like, this is so like, no. And then, um, I was reading some E.E. E. Cummings and like, I was just getting annoyed with how he writes and, and I like him, which is weird, but like just all of the, like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And I was just getting, like, fed up. And I'm sure it's my attitude right now, for real, for real. But I was just getting so annoyed. And then, um... But I was reading some Robinson Jeffers. And, um... I, I was okay with it. I was hanging in there. And then I read this fucking poem, dude. About, um... I'm going to fuck the name of it. I keep saying the wrong name. Like, oh, the house dog's grave. Jesus fucking Christ. If you want to fucking just, like, ball your eyes out, um, I, I won't read it because it will fucking destroy you if you're a dog lover. But it's basically a poem told from the point of view of um, a dead dog in the grave looking... Because the grave, like, Robinson Jeffers' dog died. And he buried him right in front of his writing room window. So when he, like, goes in there at night and turns on the light, he could see the light shines on the grave of the dog. Oh, my God, dude. I was a fucking wreck. Wreck! It was, um... If you, if you come across it, it's beautiful. It is just, um... I can't even talk about it. It was just, it was too much for me. So that was a big plus. That was like my highlight of my reading weekend, um, for real. And, um, that was just so good. So, um, I don't know what's going on with the sky outside. It might be the end of the world, but, um, yeah, Robinson Jeffers, um, the house dog's grave, definitely read it. It will, rip your heart out. Um, as far as everything else goes, um, <clears throat> I am doing that reading on Saturday live on YouTube right here. So, um, I will make another post with the, um, the video link for the page it'll be on. So you can set reminders and all that shit. Um, but I have a question. For those of you who actually follow my poetry and read my stuff, I want to know what you, like, what poems of mine are, like, your favorite? Like, which ones would you 
like me to read. Like, if you um, have read off my website or um, just whatever. Like, if you have a favorite, let me know. Because um, I'm putting a list together of things to read. So that'll be fun. Um, the class. Um, I, there, I have two spots taken and we're going to probably cap it at 10. So um, the Poetic Anarchy course, um, and that starts June 22nd, I believe. Um, there will be a link down below if you're interested. But um, I don't, like, I, I need it to be small enough to where everyone gets time during a class session. And... Um, but I also want it to be um, big and fun enough that there could be tons of conversation that the anthology we put together at the end um, is worth it and the uh, poetry reading that we're going to have with everybody will be like a big deal. So um, if you are... Um, like, I don't think, like, spots are going fast or anything like that, but um, they are going. So, um, if you've been kind of on the fence about doing it, um, hit me up and let me know what your uh, um, reservations are, let's say, and see what we can do. Um, and if it's a financial thing, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Um but I'm really excited about it. It's like kind of all I can think about right now. It's kind of, but, um, so anyway, oh, and I started reading on the road. Um, and, um, I know some people were like, oh yeah, it's really, really good. It's really good. Um, and I don't think, um, I've read enough of it to, uh, have an opinion. There are um, a couple different, I was going to order the book for it, and then I was on YouTube, and I saw that there were a couple different audiobook versions of it, and one of them is actually read by Matt Dillon, so if you like the sound of Matt Dillon's voice, um, reading on the road might be kind of cool. I was listening to it for a little bit, and there was like music playing at the beginning, and he was talking over the music, but sometimes the music went over his voice, and I'm like, I'm not going to fucking put up with this shit. So um, I found a different one, and um, it, it's pretty good. Like, um, it's interesting. I'm digging it so far. Um, and is that it? Is that all there is in the world? Well, let me know what you guys did this weekend. And, like, today is supposed to be... I don't know, like, American barbecue, hot dog eating, apple pie day. So, um, you know, let me know what you're doing and stuff and um, what you're reading. And, uh, yeah, and let me know if there's any poems of mine you really like and if there's any, um, any reservations you have for signing up for the class, if I could, like, help work those out. Um, so until next time, um, I will see you all later. Goodbye. But first, I have to find where this uh, stop button is here. I have found it.